Hey guys, this is early 1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2019. So, today is Friday the 14th. I have just switched on my PS4. I was aware that there was patch 1.03, um, which got released for the Golf Club 2019 yesterday. I've briefly leaked at the patch notes. Some guys have been sharing a few Facebook pages, etc, etc. I've not checked the HP Studio forums. It's a place I don't really check much often now. But I just want to play this round of golf here, no practice, and see if I notice any difference myself. Because, as most of you know, I've invested a lot of time into the game. So we are just playing a course here. And we are going to be playing off the black tees, which are 7,714 yards. Let's begin round. Everything's left at default, even though it doesn't say that. I've not changed anything, so it's something I've noticed straight away. It normally says default, 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 unless you've went in and manually changed anything, but I haven't. But I do hope all you fantastic subscribers are well. Thank you very much for the great interactions we're getting going on my previous video, which was a result of the poll, is the Golf Club 2019 die? And if you've not went and took part in that, check out my latest video and please give your thoughts. I will be replying to every comment. So we are here at Noble's RECR retreat. Let's see if we notice any difference in the gameplay ourselves. Really nice opening swing to start us off. Perfect, perfect. Really nice looking course, actually. Doesn't have a lot of plays. And we've nailed that 301, 302 yards, so it should be a pitch shot. Oh, let me turn down my phone, guys, or you're going to get bombarded with notifications. There we go. So 83, with that win behind me, I'm confident this is a club. Now, I do believe that the pitch shots have been altered slightly. It was not my strong point of my game. I've executed that well, though. I'm relying on the wind to hold me up. Is it going to sit down quickly? Didn't sit down as quick as I would have liked, but I tell you what, we have set ourselves up. Birdie. With a birdie. Green speeds are 154. This is just going to turn very slightly to the right, which it does, so we do pick up a nice opening birdie. But so far, okay. not noticed anything different, to be honest. Hoping to notice a few improvements to the, the gameplay tuning. Oh, why is it giving me a pitch shot here? Why? So once again, we do have a strong one by... Oh, now, wait a minute, I've just... The the loft bar looks totally different. It's not as sensitive as it was either. I have put a fast on that, so let's... Nice looking shot. Now, hmm... It's something I've not seen in the patch notes. I could be wrong, but wasn't as straight as the swings. You could argue I pushed it slightly to the right to the top. Okay, For me, that fast didn't up. put me as much as far left as it, it should have. I really feel that should have went more left than what it has. Let's say 107 yards. It's deal off than this. One more and see if they get this bouncing up towards the pin. It's a decent strike. It should really bounce out for me. It has done and it didn't check up as quickly as Four feet to the hole. You can I would say prior to the patch. It would have that kind of ran out a bit more with D loft in it. So very happy with that. And it has really set up a good birdie opportunity here, which I gladly accept. And we do move to two under par. I did notice uh, a few of the... Um, there's been a few different clothing items added to the, the game. I am sporting one of the new Under Armour tops. I do try and keep things fresh, like change my character as often as possible. Especially the, the clothes that he's wearing. Just going to try the slight draw here. 
I do believe that this club is just going to deal off at one. This should be bang on. It's a nice strike. I've put a fast on it. The draws worked out well. This is going to come up a bit short. Came up really short. Sweet. About 15 feet short. Right, drop this one in. This one for 20 feet short. So that was a poor shot on my account. Just didn't take into consideration enough for the wind. This has got a chance. If it holds its line. Oh. Good weight in that though. Good aggressive putt there. Alright, but a three footer here. But yeah, thanks to the the interactions, I know I did touch upon it at the start of the, the video about is the Golf Club 2019 dying video. I will make sure I go and reply to every single comment on that video. So I have been enjoying reading it guys, so thank you very much for your input. There's another fast, and I've pulled that one left. So far, so good for this one. Now, I'll be honest, I've not seen anything that says that you're not going to get punished for poor swing tempo, but that ball should have went hard left. I know I got a slight kick to the right there, and I even yeah, pulled it left. So that is something that I've noticed straight away. You're not getting punished for a swir uh, poor swing tempo, which I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I would like to I would like to see punishment for poor shots. I do you believe with this one behind me? That's a far better swing. Just try to kick this on from the fringe. Well it's gonna be a bit long. Just gonna trickle past the hole by a good few feet. Decent approach shot though. Very decent approach shot. So we do have an eagle putt here. This one's going to turn quite severe to the left. One, five, four. It's got a chance. Oh, just missed it on the left edge. And here we go. This one for birdie. And but like I say, watch out. I'm going to try and do a, a live stream over the weekend with some breaking news. Hopefully it's going to be exciting news for you guys, for you fantastic loyal subscribers. But so far, other than the not getting punished for the, the poor swing tempos, I've really not noticed much difference here. One six five, it's playing into the wind. It's going to deal off this. Hopeful that that is enough club. Really nice swing. Well, it's gonna have to bite. Wind didn't hold me up as much as I expected, and we're way long there. Way long. Nice. Yeah, twenty-one feet to the cup. So twenty-one here. foot putt, two inches downhill. With the speed I'm playing this, this will turn more. It will be exaggerated. This looks like it's got a chance. Oh, just missed it once again on the left edge. And here we go. I'll tell you something, this is a really nice course. Very enjoyable. Nice putt there. So we do pick up the par and we are going to remain at three under par. Three under for the round. Three under through five, can't complain at that at all. Okay, par five hole number here. six is in our par five. It is the easiest hole on the course. Confident. This kicks out. There's a fast, fast, so we should be going hard left. No, nope, that's still going to make its way onto fairway comfortably. So, yeah, that is definitely something that I have noticed. And I'll be honest there, I 110% 110% even uh, did swing fast. That felt fast. I say it is playing 205 iron. Now, wait a minute. Where's my one iron? Ah, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Five iron definitely makes this. Just going to loft it up a few touches just to try and get this landing softly. Wind will move us. Oh, 
It's a nice swing. Perfect, perfect. Just try to run this down off this fringe of the green here. It's a really nice bounce there. And hopefully that turns towards the cup. Looks like it is. And I'm really happy with that approach shot. We do have an eagle opportunity. There's very little in this. Be gutted not to pick up eagle here, to be honest. Should turn. Oh, Lee, that turned more than I expected it to. The weight was good. All right, nice little two-foot putt. Really surprised that that turned as much as that. So we missed out an eagle, but we get the second best prize, which is a birdie, and we are going to move to four under par. So I'll be honest, guys, I have not noticed anything different so far, except the reduced punishment on the swing tempo. And I'm not even sure if it's a fit. Well, I, I've not seen it on the patch notes, but I guarantee you that is a thing. Just looking to avoid this overhanging branch here. Should kick out. Yeah, good shot there. Really enjoying this course. Just speed that up. Should should be on a slight slope here. All right, looking at uh, 120 yards or so to the pin. Oh, it's going to be quite severe. I honestly feel like need to drop a club here. Just deal off the this a touch. Good swing. Should bounce out a bit, but it is going to come up a touch short. Very, very hard to judge exactly Here we go for the birdie. your yardage and that kind of shots. It's another birdie opportunity. Just touch that. It's got a chance. And that's a fantastic putt. And we do pick up a birdie there and we move to, I think it's six under. Five under, five under, I do apologize. So five under through seven, really good start. Eight hole coming up here. Let's hole number eight. I, I, I slightly feel that the swing is slightly easier to get straight. I could be wrong. Just looking to avoid this bunker up here. Wait a minute, I can drive the bunker. Yeah, I can drive that bunker. Might even leave my cell on our pitch shot here. Just as I say, I feel that the, the swing is easier. That should kick left all day long. I go and push it right at the top, but that's nothing new. Should find this slope. Once again, just going to speed this up. I don't think it is actually going to be a pitch shot. Probably going to be a... All right, I'm just going to say a gap wedge. But with this wind... Oh, it's quite a severe downhill slope. Let's say it's playing 130. Let's say 132 to be safe into the wind. Just going to, on that downhill slope, just deal off in this one touch. Because I do believe that this will run out for me. This should be close. Wind should start to bring that left. Should sit for me. Oh, why wow. got it run out a bit more and I would have with a light. Ended up just fine after all. Alright, twelve footer here. So twelve foot pot. Once again, very little on this. The greens aren't the most challenging in this this course. It is up five inches though, so we've played that firm. Beautiful putt line, and we do pick up another birdie. I did expect that to, to spin backwards a bit. It is something I do believe still lacking in this game is your wedges. You don't you don't get enough spin on them at times. I mean the green speeds here, the, the greens are firm here, so go back to when the uh, the greens are normal here, sorry. Go back to when the game was first released. Nothing sat down in greens. So there, there is a slight improvement to that, but I'm not noticing anything. 
That's a fool. Now I felt as if I swung fast, fast there, but I didn't. But I don't know. The game just feels slightly easier. I mean, I don't know what it is. I'm not seeing, noticing a huge difference other than. I'm just gonna loft this up. Two touches. Try and get this floating right into this green here. Beautiful swing. Yeah, I'm not. I've not noticed any difference in the game, to be honest, other than the. Look at that for a shot. Other than the decreased penalty. For a poor swing, tempo. I mean. I just, I just don't get it. I, for me personally, I would like the game slightly harder, but that's just me. Oh, poor, poor putt there. In all fairness, it was a challenging putt. Four feet. Let's do this. So this one's just to save par now. Right into the heart of the cup. Disappointed not to pick up birdie there after that really impressive approach shot. But six under through the front nine, really can't complain with that. Do you have an eight mile per hour wind here? Slopes looks like it's going to kick left. Really nice swing there. Being honest, guys, other than like what I've said two or three times now, I've not noticed a huge difference other than the, the less. You're, you're not getting penalised as much as previously for a poor swing tempo. Don't want to be long here because that's just going to go way off the green. So what I'm going to do here is deal off this 9 iron, try and get a bit of run out. up to the flag. It's a beautiful strike. It should run out a bit for me because I have D lot. I should run out about seven feet. Right, why that stop stone dead? Here we go. This one for Which I don't understand my previous approach shot with the I think it was the lob wedge run out further. Now a lob wedge should should sit and spin quicker than a nine iron. I can't recall if I had the wind against me in that, that shot because that is, would have been a factor as well. Don't want to put this too far past the pin. Come on, turn. You know you want to turn. Oh, just lips out. Just as well I caught, caught the lip there. Otherwise that would have been way down the slope. So, just another solid par there. Okay, so that will keep you at six under. I do believe that the, the matchmaking has been fixed. It's something I, I don't delve into often. If I'm bored, then I mean, I have to be bored to play it. Um, ghost balls seemingly have been fixed, which, like, playing match play against a ghost ball and things, that, that certainly interests me. Something I used to do a lot on the golf club too, although it didn't work either, but you just had to use your score manually. There's a perfect, perfect. That's looking nice off the tee. I'll be honest, I'm maybe finding it slightly easier to get perfect perfects more often. As most of you subscribers or know, or the guys who watch my content, I do uh, like more yards than not get perfect here. fasts. Let's say 198 into the wind. Just going to loft this up two touches. Another touch for luck. One should start to take that round. How quick is this going to sit down? Not quick enough. Might actually come back towards the flag here off this slight slope. No, nope. certainly going to have a downhill putt. All right, 13 footer here. That looks more downhill than what it suggests.
just touched that one. Not played it firm enough. That was a bit of a coward's putt there. I was just very aware of the, the slope. Let's drop this and get your putt. A foot or two past the, the flag there. But it's not as severe as what I anticipated. And we do pick up the par there. A couple of poor putts today, but that's nothing new for my game. So slow back nine. Nothing's happening on the back nine for me. So 285 yards. Once again, looking for a, a gap through these trees. I fully loft this up because I'm sure this is achievable. Oh, I put it fast on that, so it should go slightly left, but nice shouldn't track. really affect me to not. Once again, there's very little punishment now for a, a fast backswing. Three packs, that's going left. I'd say 140 -ish yards from here. Dropping down to the pitching wedge here with that wind behind me. Slight uphill slope is going to move the ball to the left also, but the green is coming back there as well. Just going to loft this up one, two touches. And hopefully this is all over this pin. Should bounce and then sit down. Good shot there. Just went a wee bit more left than we allowed for with that slope. Nice approach shot there. But yardage was absolutely bang on. Here. Ten foot pot for birdie. This one is turning slightly to the left. Sweet. And we drop that right on the edge of the cup and we do pick up another birdie. Seven under for the so we move to seven under first. Birdie. If the back nine. Don't be superstitious. Uh, it's just hole number 13. This is just a number. Let's see what you can do. So once again, I'm going to use the fade feature. Just deal often the six iron a few touches here. Beautiful strike. Fade in the winds really, really worked well for me. This should be close. This should be close. Get in the hole. Great approach shot there. Really, really happy with that. And that should be a, a give me birdie. Little four footer. Going to put me to eight under par. Great putt in there for birdie. But really enjoyable round here. Eight under for the round. So, hole 14. One should hold us up here. Why, what kind of swing lines? That's a very weird swing line. This is going to run out a good 10, 15 yards down this slope. Come on, come off that slope. Ah. It's one thing I don't find that realistic. I mean, for me, that ball runs out. It runs off of the slope. This is now actually a horrible shot because I've got no idea how far this is going to go. It's lofting this up a few touches. I put that fast on that. And I pulled it left also. And we were long. Hopefully that kicks off the green. Looks like it is going to on the fringe. And hopefully I've maybe set up the first flop shot of the round. Let's have a look. I'm just going to try this. Probably going to not work out. Just really looking for this to spin a good 10 feet back. Oh, wow. Didn't generate any spin there whatsoever. But in all fairness, I think I did land on a downhill slope. But mind you, no, not really. Can I? It's my pitch mark going to show. If 
thought my pitch mark was round about this area. It's not. Can't see it at all. But anyway, we are going to have a, a pitch, uh, chip shot now. Just going to deal off this one touch. Going to do well to walk away with a bogey at best now. Should run out a good bit for me. Played that well despite a poor swing line and tempo. Wasn't the best shot. To, oh my goodness, Lee. That wasn't the best shot to play. It was that flop shot. I mean, it wasn't a percentage shot. If that was a... If I was trying to play well or shoot low, I wouldn't have played that flop shot. But I did expect a lot more backspin than what I got there. And that's a double bogey due a poor flop shot and a poor... Poor putt for bogey. The hole 15 is par 5. It is saying it is the toughest hole on the course. But not noticing much difference in the the gameplay here, if I'm going to be brutally honest. Should be perfect down the right-hand side of the fairway. And this should really open up an eagle opportunity here, because I should be able to reach this comfortably in two. Oh, now. Maybe take that back. Is that water? It is. Do you know what? I'm going to play a shot here. I'm going to try and get a rebound off this wall. Let's see if we can hit this wall and kick it onto the green. How about that? Looks like uh, some rough coming up here. Come on. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, and if you haven't already done so, please hit that like button, because that is a hell of a shot. They don't call me the, the shot maker for nothing. <laughs> Very unlucky with the outcome, but we are going to have a, a chip shot that hopefully we can get close. Just lofting that up a good bit. Should run out a bit for me. Get in. Get in. Ooh. Very good chip shot there. All right, here we go. Four, Once three. again, I, d I do believe that you're not getting penalized as much with, for a, a poor done. swing tempo on the chip shots either. Sitting and we do pick up the birdie there. Now. So let's move on to hole number 16, which is another par 5. Really enjoyable course this, though. Very short, I'm going to play a two wood here. Very short par five this one, to be honest. Solid swing. Really nice swing. Fairway kicks right by the looks of things. Just going to speed that up once again. Looks like we're going to be on a slight slope and once again. One, no, that's uh, the only issue. 240 yards out. This club. I'm going to loft this up. Pre-patch, when you lofted the one iron up, it done very, very little. Very hard club to hit, though. Just looking for it to get up that slope. Played that well, I tell you. Come on. Oh, we've just failed to get up that slope. Now, I do believe... That with me lofting that up really has affected the, the distance a bit. So that's interesting. So once again. Very similar shot to what I had previously. Almost the same yardage. This should have a chance. It breaks to the left. Oh. Good weight in that again. Really happy with the, the weight. The yardage that I'm getting with the chip shots. Quite a tricky putt, to be honest. Certainly seen these missed from yours truly. 
Oh, and there is another one. I think that's the second one we've missed. Almost identical putts like that we've missed All for right, birdies. Do well drop the par though. And that'll keep you at seven under for the so round. we're going to remain seven under par. Coming off a par on the last one. Let's see what happens here. Hole 17 is a long par three. Oh. Going to have to play the one iron here. Once again, lofting it up. Applied one. In fact, I'm not going to play draw on this, but we are going to going to fully loft this up. This is a very difficult club to hit now. Just looking to catch this slope and hopefully it brings the ball back for me. But it'll all depend. I don't know. Hybrid just doesn't get there. This is a hell of a a risky shot, but we're going to take it. I don't think the hybrid has enough, enough club. This could be way long if I if I play it well. It's a great strike. I'm just hoping it catches that bank and come that. Nah. So there you go. Even a lofted up one iron with a win behind me. But hope well. Do you know what? This is definitely going to be a flop shot now. Surely, yeah. I am actually going to go with a 24 because I want to catch the slope. Just going to deal off that one, two, because I am on a slight down slope. Oh, it's going to go hard left. Should check up. Awful swing line, awful swing tempo. Didn't really notice any difference in the flop shot. At all there, to be honest. Didn't know it's it easier or more difficult. Solid stroke on that one. It's a solid par there. Good recovery. Okay, so that'll keep you at seven under. Pretty good round. Bar the, the double bogey on hole 14 where we were experimenting with the, the flop shot. So let's move on to the final hole. On the last it is one. very enjoyable here. course. And it is a long par four. That wall, if that bridge, if I could get further down that bridge, I would certainly be taking it on. But we're going to drop down to the five hybrid here. Let it run out. Let the wind take me round to the right. Solid swing. Nice swing. Should run out a good bit for me. Played that well. Looks like we're going to be on a flattish surface of the fairway and a nice approach into this this green wow don't think I can reach this in two now then Let's try to avoid bunker here this should kick left out of this I would imagine there we go probably looking Possibly a chip or a flop. It is going to be the flop, so I'm going to get another opportunity. I'm pleased that I'm getting an opportunity on our flop shot. I am lofting this up because this downhill slope is certainly going to add yardage onto the ball. I've executed that well. Let's see how it responds. It should spin back. No. Stop stone dead. Let's see if you can save par here. Okay. So that is a... Not done what I expected. Now, let's make this not three putts in a row from this distance that I've missed. Oh, I missed it on the high side this time. Wow, Lee. Wow. Look at that. Bye bye, ball. So, puns really let me down today. And this one as it does on so many occasions. But to be fair, some of these putts are tricky. So we are going to be picking up a very 
unnecessary double bogey there, but that's quite a tough hole. And that's going to drop us back down to five under par. So guys, to be honest, patch 1.03. I've not noticed a huge difference. I don't know if you guys think that's a good thing or a bad thing. Hopefully that like the match play works now and the the ghost balls um, do as what they should do. And when you're playing match play against ghost balls, it, it does work and it's not broken. But very enjoyable course that. But for me, the only big thing I notice is you're not getting penalised for a poor swing tempo as you were previously. That is it for today. Hopefully we will be getting more videos up this week, this weekend. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And I will see all you guys in the next one. Take care, peace out, and love you all.